Hmm, interesting. Hello, how you doing? You alright? Today we're going to be looking at the wonderful world of American martial arts. America! Fuck yeah! First up, the ever popular Detroit Urban Survival Training. Let's see what pearls of wisdom they have on what to do if you get shot. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you today some ideas that can assist you in the event that you get shot. Push the barrel up, back towards the aggressor, and you can actually use his finger to control him if you wanted to, or just strip the weapon from them. Whatever you do, remember, get the gun, because the only thing worse than getting shot is getting shot again, repeatedly. So the advice is, if you get shot, take the gun and don't get shot again. Well, now you know. Right into the meat of my arm, right where all those tendons and pressure points are, and what you're gonna do is grab the back of your head with both of your hands, good, and you're just gonna sink right on down. Ah, 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 ah. I've lost, whoa, I just go with it, lift. Even if he's got a hold of my sleeve, then I'll just tuck this hand here. I'm gonna swing this up. So do this, imagine a couple of ski poles. Fuck me like you hate me. If he's holding on me and I'm gonna have him off the trigger just because I don't want him to hurt his finger and I'm coming in for a shoot toe, the weight of the gun helps the shoot toe work a lot better. Your hands are up in a defensive posture. You want to have them pretty close together, your fingers leaning back. If your fingers are forward, it looks like you want to fight. You're going to try to grab the knife. It will make me a little bit more cautious. Fingers back, looks like you're listening. You grab the back of my hand. As you grab the back of my hand, your other hand grabs underneath, pulling your elbows in tight. Having your elbows bent like this, you're in your strongest position. Turn the knife outward makes me fall. Next up, let's look at some classic Dillman. Can resist? Kill! That's all you do. For my, my next book, we were shooting pictures, and I had a person with a four-inch pad in front of him. And he was a big, strong man, and I focused a cheap punch through the four-inch pad and actually broke his ribs out his back. Those pictures will be in the next book. We could not plan that, maybe not even duplicate, but it happened that as we were shooting, and I was going to throw chi with the punch, and naturally I gave it everything I had and focused the punch. I threw that punch at a spot right here where that if you were shot, the, the bullet could pass through and not hit a major organ. And I'm glad I did, because that punch would have killed him. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Thank you for your help. Come I really. Me. Oh my gosh! No! No! Oh. 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 Call my one one. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Right now, we're gonna go over how to get a knife out of a person's hand. But today, we're using from Los Angeles. Fighting by that. All right, he's a personal trainer, he's in great shape, yep. and he's gonna resist, he's not going to give in, right? Yep. Okay, uh, make it stiff, okay. and not gonna let me take it out of the hand, okay? Got it? Yep. Ooh. And now you have no fingers. He's gonna come down, I'm gonna strike here, and then come in on the metal nerve.
what you just saw is a pretty good representation of an actual assassination. No, it's not. Fingertip power. Oh, Due to YouTube's rules and regulations, I've started to upload the compilation stuff onto Odyssey now. Um, it's free to use, I'm not sponsored by them. Link in the description. The latest compilation video that I put on there was about a fight club in Germany where they fight with sharp swords. Check it out. Don't move, you move us. Now let's all learn some pressure points. You're gonna stand flat footed and hit the pressure point. And he feels it because it's a hip point. But then you're going to leave the ground and hit the pressure point. You see the way the body rocks? And you only know this by feeling it. Even though I hit it, he can take that. But when I jump up and I'm off the ground, it rocks through his body. Did you see his other leg kick out? One other thing, any pressure point where we're using our thumb or our finger, if we squeeze and we don't get the effect that we want, we make little circles. So if I'm squeezing and he's not quite feeling it so much, I make little circles and it becomes very painful. This is an analogy similar to water going down the drain. So the pressure points are located in a hole. You could be slightly off and be on the muscle. When you wiggle your thumb, it'll find its way into that hole. So any pressure point, whether it's on the arm, the neck, the leg, you squeeze it. If you don't get an immediate effect, rub the thumb a little bit. Rub the finger and it will guide you into that hole. So we have large intestine 10 and 11. I feel safer. <laughs> He's got me pretty good here. I can't really run away from this. So rather than try to move away from this, I'm going to go towards him. Right? So here's my snake. Right? And here's my rooster. Once I've got my tough lock on, you're going to put your tough lock on. What you're going to do is grab your hands together. You're just going to bow your elbows out. Good. You don't have to be strong to do this, but you need to make sure you use your technique. Okay? From this point, now I've lost some leverage. Okay? What you're going to do is, with your left hand, you're going to grab my right wrist, okay? Once you grab that, you just extend that on out. Good. Now you're breaking my grip. Doesn't matter how strong I am. This reminds me of the porn I watched last night. Oh. Oh. Me off balance. Yeah. And as you pull me backwards where I can't flip you forward, I just find this leg. Pull, hit. I can just continue to come up. The Crouching Tiger Hidden Tea Bag Technique. You got him! Ha! <laughs> got him! <laughs> now you got him in a lock or hold, and if I want to break that arm, now I do chin toes, and I just come all the way around, and we got a broken leg. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to watch these videos, take a look. <laughs>